What is up, heroes? This is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we completed the interlude where Yuri kind of explored the antique shop and found some clues as to where Hisoka had actually gone and disappeared to, and now we're gonna go after her. Or rather, we're actually gonna go after Haruka, who, well, was the person that Hisoka was looking for when she disappeared. A quick little note, for some reason my save data completely disappeared. When I went to continue the game for recording this fourth episode, it was just gone. I couldn't play it for whatever reason, and I had to start a new game. So you'll notice that my total points is a little bit different, and then my rankings are a little bit different as well. I experimented a little bit with the rankings and using different types of film, and I've basically come to the conclusion that I'm going to want to try to be as efficient as possible with combat while using as little, I guess, uh, limited ammo or limited film as possible. So really trying to use that 7 film as much as I can because keeping the rest of that film bumps up my score quite a bit. So that's why I got an S rank here, but when I was experimenting with using a lot of the Type 14 film, for example, um, I, I dropped this down to an A rank, unfortunately. But nevertheless, I was thinking we would hop into the, the fourth drop, playing as Yuri again. Fuyuhi had been searching for her friend, a girl named Haruka Momose. Yuri finds a photo of Haruka in Hisoka's desk and uses to follow her trace, leading her back to Mount Hikami, because of course, we can't stay away from Mount Hikami. Spirited Away. Huh. For some reason, I feel like this episode of Spirited Away is going to be a little bit different from the one that's a little bit more popular. After finding a missing, missing person's file on Hisoka's desk, Yuri realized that Hisoka had been looking for Haruka Momose. She recalls what Fuyuhi said when they passed the Shrine of Dolls. Haruka, she's here. With this in mind, Yuri heads to the Shrine of Dolls, hoping that if she finds Haruka, she may just learn of Hisoka's whereabouts too. Oh boy, we're gonna have to interact with more of those dolls, I'm sure. A scary prospect, no doubt. Haruka Momose, this is the girl that Fuyuhi was looking for. Hisoka must have been trying to find her. Okay. So we already start off on this path. So I guess we'll continue onwards. Also, as just a little bit of feedback, how is the brightness of this game to you guys? I've been playing around between all three different episodes, actually, uh, changing the um, changing the settings for the contrast, the saturation, etc. Just trying to pinpoint what I really like. And part of it's difficult because what look what I see on my TV when I play versus what I capture on my oops. Did I feel like a, my controller vibrated? But what I see on my different screens is potentially different from what you guys are seeing on your screen, so it's pretty difficult to tell, but I, I'm working on it. Water flowing from the rocks is pooled here, forming a small pond. Is there a ghost? Oh, there's definitely a ghost. The question is where? Oh, there you are. So one other thing I've been doing... Oh, I didn't even realize we were on the Type 14. I'm glad got that quickly. This person's gonna attack us pretty soon. We'll get some fatal frame here. Oh, they completely uh, shifted to the left there, so I wasted that a little bit. But, um... Oh, they are... Oh, I was too early. Darn it. Ah, oh, I was too early on the, the X to dodge. That's something I haven't exactly gotten very comfortable with yet. So we'll wait for another fatal frame. Um, what I was going to say is combat-wise, something else I've been experimenting with is taking, you know, regular just photos of the, the ghosts so that they create more of the, like, spirit remnants or spirit shards. I forget exactly what they're called. And then we can utilize those to get uh, stutter chances is what they're called, I believe. Oh, wow, we got a whole bunch of... Why was our... Why did our fatal frame last so long? Maybe that's something to consider is that maybe the Fatal Frame itself lasts longer if you get the Fatal Frame with so many Spirit Shards in the area. Huh. Learning something new every episode, right? Okay. Well, we'll keep on moving, I guess. We've walked this path before. Are we gonna find anything new? Hopefully. I already see a shiny up there. Oh, hello. I also think that's Haruka. Oh, and so, okay, we're actually getting traces of Haruka, which is pretty cool. 
Um, what I was going to say is that when I center the film on the circle of whatever I'm trying to capture, I tend to get higher points. Also, is this something we explored last time? Yeah, right? This is where I just came from, isn't it? Okay, I don't know how I got turned around. <laughs> but... That works. Oh, I thought I was going down like a path over here. Or was it this one? Yeah, this is the one that I thought I was turning onto. But I ended up just turning backwards. Gotta love it. There's a note here, soaked in the water. It's written in small feminine handwriting. It's labeled Haruka's Note 1. I wonder who wrote, who wrote it. I awoke to the sound of water. Should I press on or go back? This is the point of no return. If I want to see Fuyuhi again. Interesting. So she was somewhat aware of her predicament. She was somewhat aware that what she was going through and what she was experiencing was potentially going to be the end of what she wanted, you know? What's going on? Oh, shoot. I missed it. No! Aw, oh, man. Well, there goes that ghost. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I saw the icon and I was like, where is it? I couldn't see it for the life of me, but... It was pretty difficult to get. It was moving fairly quickly. Not the end of the world. I know there's. I'm inevitably going to play this game a second time. As with you know, playing around with some of the costumes, getting higher scores, trying to collect all the ghosts, those sorts of things. I definitely want to play the game again. Already. <laughs> Which way were we going to go? Something else I realized is utilizing the map is something I haven't done a whole lot of. And when I was playing through some of the levels again. It was incredibly helpful, especially in that forest area, the unfathomable forest. It really helped me just get a grip on where I was going, not wander as much as I did in that episode. Okay, is this is gonna be another note or what? Just an item. Purifying embers? Yep. Okay. We're supposed to go on over this way this time? Or is this where I just came from? I think it is. No, it's not. This is where we're supposed to go, I believe. So really quickly, just want to make sure there's nothing more over this way. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright. Who are you? Wistful Shrine Maiden. I mean, this is where we saw all of those maidens' bodies, right? Oh, and it dropped something. Presumably something useful. But of course, gotta investigate every other place we can. Before we grab this. What's it gonna be? This is basically where we found the Camera Obscura before, isn't it? Haruka's Note 2. There's a note lying in the water. Maybe it's from Haruka. I came here because of the sunset. It was so beautiful, it made me want to cry. It was the same as the sunset I saw when I survived. The sun seemed to sink into the mountain. I had I had to come and see it. Melting away into the waters of the mountain seems natural. It seems right. I feel like the others are telling me to, the ones who didn't survive. The sunset is drawing closer, or maybe I'm drawn to it. And of course, this is playing into... Oh, hello there. Plenty of friends. Oh, that was like a fatal frame mixed with a, uh, what's it called? Oh, shoot. They are right onto me. Load, 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 load. Okay, there we go. Stutter chance. Stutter chance. Oh, dang. Another one already. We got that, like, just in time, I think. Okay. This is just, like, constant shutter chances. Oh, it's still attacking me. Dang. I thought that they were, uh, I thought they were dead, and so I was running into... What's it called? This is intense. I was running in to try to get the... What's it called? I don't know, the, the Fatal Glance, I think is what it's called? What? Did I not... Are you dead? No? Yes? Maybe? Somewhere in between? You are! Alright, let's get that Fatal Glance. <laughs> I was trying to run up to get the Fatal Glance, ended up just running right into attacking it. These are presumably the maidens that we found the bodies of? The ones that were murdered by that one guy who we read about in the previous episode? 
Or are they just going off to that, that ritual that we've seen glimpses of? Oh my. And yeah, this is we're we're actually watching that event. Yikes. glad we got that fatal glance that was really cool but yeah so those were the five maidens that were killed by that guy he initially I think killed one of them and then came back the next day to kill the rest of them and they even played into the whole glance right like when he killed her there was a look in her eye that led to well you know the eyes being gouged out of the others dang but also, that battle definitely took its toll. Look at our health. We're definitely kind of low health. Um, and I mean, there, it's also demonstrating the utility of those higher type films, right? There were quite a few moments during that battle where I was struggling because I was trying to back away while the film was reloading, just trying to stay out of harm's way. And evidently not succeeding most of the time. From here, you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's the shrine road wiped out by the landslide, and the path that leads up to here. Oh, we have an enemy? We do. Did we get it? We did. Nice. Okay, that was a pretty aggressive attack, though. So I'm actually going to take one picture here, and that should create a spirit remnant. Uh, not enough, though, honestly. Alright, looks like they're going to attack soon. Dang, that walk is creepy. Come in. There we go. Did we take it out? No, we did not. So what I can do is take another picture just to do some damage and hopefully create a spirit remnant. Come on, come on, come on. Reload, reload. Did we get it? I mean, I think we got the fatal frame, but not the the shutter chance with, that I wanted. Did we get it? Or wait, where is it? Is it? falling from somewhere? Oh my. That's, um, certainly an attack. So that created a spirit remnant. We can do it one more time. And there we go. We'll get our shutter chance in just a moment. We'll get a little bit closer for big damage. Boom. Oh, it's about to fall down again, so we'll get ready for that. Nice. We got the fatal frame. Is it even there still? It's, is it still alive? It is. Oh my goodness. Plenty of damage. Or plenty of HP, rather. There's a spirit remnant. I'm... Well, it's not walking, or it's not walking that fast. So I think we've got time to reload. Alright, there we go. That was a good shutter chance, I think. Alright, we got it. Alright, run in there. Oh, we did not get it. Abort. What the heck just happened? Anybody want to explain that one to me? <laughs> did I kill it while it was like in the animation or like loading to do that attack? And that's why I wasn't able to do the fatal glance at all? That was pretty odd. But, oh well. I think all things considered we handled it pretty well. <laughs> Between the rocks, I can see the stone lanterns by the pool. It looks like it's deserted. It seems like when we interact with some of these areas, um, we get more opportunities to potentially interact with other ghosts. So which way are we trying to go? The unfathomable path? Pool of purification? I don't remember. Oh. Luckily, um, there's an answer for that, right? I can follow the trace. And it'll show me where to go. Gotta remember that. 
So we're going to be going on this right side. Got it. Oh, but there's an item here. Some film. Nice. One other thing that's very minor um, is that when picking up items, a lot of times it's I find it a little bit disorienting because the camera angle after you pick up an item is oftentimes different from the one you have prior to picking it up. Which is not a huge thing, obviously, but it's something I picked up on when replaying the different chapters that helped or contributed to me getting very lost in this forest, for example. Okay. So we're coming up on, I think, that bridge, right, that we have to go across. Luckily, we have this map really fleshed out at this point. In general, when I try to, oh, Haruka peering into the river, saying, you know, all of us together forever, obviously talking about all of them, we all melt away, dang, obviously talking about them going into the river together, attempting to kill themselves, but yeah, I tried to do things generally the same, but if there was like a ghost that I knew I missed or something like that, I attempted to find it or get it that time around just for the completionist in me, and then also trying to keep the points that I have at this point in the game relatively similar. Speaking of, I totally forgot we upgraded our camera obscura, didn't we? I think we did, right? So let's take a look at how we can enhance that again. I think increasing the loading speed is going to be something that'll really go far for us. So let's upgrade the loader. We still have 180,000 points, wow. Increasing attack distance. I'm not necessarily sure I want to do that because I don't find myself attacking from a distance many times. Output. Increases damage potential. That's pretty good. Increasing spirit power absorbed. I don't really remember what spirit power does. Maybe I'll, I'll look that up after this episode just to make sure I'm not missing something. But um, we can upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade the lens. Reducing spirit power cost from 100% to 80%. Okay, it's a relatively cheap one, so I'll upgrade the stun lens for now. Um, the spirit power is clearly that bar in the, the bottom right. And I think it's related to reloading, but I'm not, I'm actually not entirely sure. So I think we'll just do that for now, and I'll look into it a little bit more afterwards. Okay, and so we're continuing along this path. Do I want to go the other direction? Oh no, there isn't another direction to go. I wonder if there are a whole bunch of items hidden in a lot of the same spots I encountered my first time wandering through this forest. If so, it might be a little bit tedious to explore every nook and cranny again. I see a couple, you know, just immediately, right? So we can obviously pick those up. What do we have here? Is this a mirror stone or...? Huh, what is this? Oh shoot, get it, get it. Did I get it? Oh no, I didn't. I don't think so at least. Where am I getting attacked from? Okay, I am loving, and I mean loving. Here we go. Those cutscenes that we get, those like flashbacks with like the staticky sort of everything, they have been awesome. Oh shoot, I just wasted that. Now we're gonna get attacked again, no doubt. Oh, here's our stutter chance. I can't. Oh man, I, I screwed up the, the stutter chance. The stutter chance? I don't remember again. Let's see. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here, I guess. I can't see you. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But I definitely can't see you. Oh, that was like... 
super tight timing. And we're getting a big reward for that with all that fatal frame time. Lovely. Oh, where'd you go? Behind me? Or what? Oh, there you are, I guess. So we got a nice shutter chance. That's what it is. Shutter chance. I'm gonna do that to hopefully make some spirit remnants appear. Ah, shoot. Oh, we are nearly dead. So we're gonna very quickly and calmly, of course, use a couple herbal medicines just to get us back to a respectable amount of health. Um, yeah, I think that'll be okay. I'm still not super comfortable with dodging, unfortunately. Nope, there we go. <laughs> there was the prompt. But I guess I do need to primarily wait for the prompt in order to dodge effectively. Are you gonna attack me? You coming? I'm ready for you. I gotta be really careful, given the loading times. Come on. See, now I'm so hesitant to actually attack when he's not, you know, doing the... When he's not attacking me so I can counter with a fatal frame, right? Okay. Usually is like, completely directly behind me. I'm getting a nice shutter chance. Lovely. And now he's gonna attack when we get close. That's what he typically does. Nope. Oh, you're in front of me again. Okay, another shutter chance. Which is good. I'll, um, I'll do that. I'll back up a little bit. He's got two spirit fragments out, which is good for now. He reabsorbed them, though. So I feel like we missed out on an opportunity. But he hasn't been attacking me with that usual attack. Wow, his face is creepy. You know, you really like, take a second to actually take a good look at him. But watch, now I'm going to attack him, and he's going to be like, this is my chance to attack you. See? Aw, uh, did we get hit? It looked like it. Uh-oh, where'd you go? That was a huge hit. There were so many icons on there. Okay. Intentionally missing the spirit fragment. Ah, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Did I get him? I think I got him. All right, let's get this uh, fatal glance. Hopefully, it's a good one. Oh my goodness, the revenge! My goodness what an awesome fatal glance I am I'm loving these cutscenes they're easily one of my favorite parts about this at the moment they offer such great insight especially into like all the different things we're reading about and I don't know there's just the way the static plays into it the art the colors like the blues and the reds and the blacks and the whites the way they you know put the how much expression they put into such still faces you know it's it's pretty incredible okay so let's let's think for a moment though and kind of regroup let's explore the different components or different areas of this forest real quick so that we can get on our way to the dollhouse this is where i was supposed to come this is where oh there's a there's a ghost down here 
Man in Agony. I thought this is where the, like, tent was? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I thought for a moment I was getting a fatal glance. But alas. Dang, plenty of Type 14 film. <laughs> but I'm pretty full on it. So notably, actually something I can do that... Oops, Type 90, Type 14. Something kind of silly that I have done in the past, uh, or I realized I could do when I was playing through the earlier chapters, is that I can attempt to max out my score to an extent by maximizing my inventory space, right? I want to make sure that I have as much um, film as I can carry, right? And so if I pick up 24 of these, and it's not letting me pick up any more if I have, you know, anything less than 24 is my difference between what I currently have and what my, you know, capacity is. Oh my goodness. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? That was spooky. Oh my goodness. But anyways, so if I get exactly 99, I'll be in my sort of best shape in terms of my score at the end. And now I'll switch back to type 7 film before I forget. Okay. So let's wander across over into this way, the Pit of Lamenting, as well as the Confusing Basin. That's where the tent was. Yeah, what was that? That was so spooky. It was like the ghost standing right next to us, peering over us. And it wasn't something that, I, at least I don't think, that I could have taken a picture of. If so, I, I failed to do so, but... Got some herbal medicine. Replace the ones we just used in that battle. Anything over this way? Doesn't seem so. Just the statues. And then, of course, you know, some air coming from through here. Can't quite travel down that, though. Okay. Now we can walk across over this way and explore the area where there was the man in the tent, I believe. This is going to be type 14 film. Yep, so we can't carry any more of this. Alright, well at least the game is telling me in a sort of roundabout manner that I can and arguably should be using some of the more advanced film because they're going to replace it when I do get it. Because ultimately my score will be highest if I have 99 of it by the end of the level, but they're giving me so much of it that they're basically saying, don't worry, you can afford to use some, we'll, we'll replenish it. So, I'm supposed to end up over here, I believe, for the dollhouse, right? Shrine of Doll's Path. I wonder how much we would find by exploring these other areas, though. You know? So, I guess in the meantime, we'll head to the right and take a look. Oh, there's an item over here. Because it sounds like, in general, they've scattered quite a few of these items around the forest. See, I don't really know which way I'm oriented after picking up that item. So I've got to check the map again. Just a quick little demonstration of what I had been mentioning earlier. So we'll come on over this way. Branching path. Some purifying embers. Yes. So let's try to do a quick little run through this area over here and see what we find. If there are a bunch of items scattered around, that'll mean it's worthwhile to actually investigate this area. And that's what we'll do, because again, the items in general are quite helpful, and they help out with our score. Okay, again, more Type 14 film. The other thing is, we very well may end up over in this area by the end of the chapter, right? So right now, this isn't clearly where we need to go, but we might end up going over here by the end. What is this? Oh, is that like the sacred water? Yep. Okay figure out where I want to go again. <laughs> we'll head over this way now. Explore this part of the, the forest. Is that something on the ground there? No. Anything over here? Does not seem so at the moment. This is the pathway to what? The East Byway? I don't think we're going to go on over this way for now. So we'll just head on back and continue our way around the, the water in the middle. That's an item we already tried to pick up, some extra film, 
What's this over here in the corner? Is it a mirror stone? Ooh, if it is, that's valuable. Yeah. That hopefully isn't necessary at any point. Um, but it could revive us if need be. And importantly, it gives us tons of points at the end of the level. Anything up here? Could I have just come around this way before? I probably could have. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, what's over this way? Have I been over here? I don't think I have. Interesting, which means when I was going through the Unfathomable Forest the first time, I probably didn't explore this either. Huh. What are we going to find? Okay. Tiny old Jesus statues lie in the side of the road. Many are broken, several have lost their heads. Yikes. Hopefully not a sign of what's to come. Granted, we've seen quite a few of the maidens, as well as those in influenced by the maidens, slice their necks. I feel like the first time I recorded this episode, I came over this way. I don't think I did in my uh, second attempt at the level, though. Now we know. Hopefully those of you that are watching are patient and okay with me exploring to this extent. Just kind of finding a bunch of the items, finding a lot of the ghosts. We found some encounters we might not have otherwise gotten had we not explored this area in a, in a roundabout fashion. So I'm pretty happy to continue doing so. And like I've mentioned before, I am a bit of a completionist. So I enjoy taking the time to explore these environments that again, I also think are, are very beautiful. They're quite pretty, well saturated with you know, nice colors, and oh shoot, what is going on over here? Come on, come on, there are two of them. There are two of them. I mean, I'll take the picture of this one while I can. Wandering Shrine Maiden, but there's a second one right around the corner. Go, go, go. Oh, there's. Oh, I couldn't take the picture. That's two of them we missed. <sighs> that hurts inside. I was just talking about how I'm a completionist and I like collecting, and dang, that hurts. But not the end of the world. I don't think. Like I said, I'll inevitably play through the game again, just because it's been such a great experience. And I can imagine it's one of those games as well, that when you get the full picture of the story, it really comes together nicely. Alright, so we're going to continue this way, I believe. Although there is a little path in that direction. No, we're good. So we'll just continue where we're currently headed. Oh! Camera Obscura, double duty murdered shrine maiden as well as the murderer. Man gouging out eyes, yikes. Again, that story that we've heard quite a few times. Oh, can we fight him? Get close, come on, can we fight you? No, he's just still gouging. Dang, that's intense. Okay, I guess we couldn't actually fight him or anything like that, but what's going on over here? Is this another one of the notes? Looks like it. Haruka's note 3. There's a note lying on the collapsed bridge. Such small handwriting. I think it's Haruka's. Fuhi didn't see the sunset. Only I could see it. That's why I have to go alone. The light of the setting sun lives on in the mountain. I wish Fuhi could have seen it. Oh man, and this is just like, again, leaning into that myth, or that tale about how the watching the sun set is basically signing up for your death. Okay, so I saw a light, a couple lights now actually over this way, so we will explore over here a little bit. What the heck? Oh, we got this friend again to deal with. Aw, oh, man, he's gonna attack us now, totally. We got a shutter chance at least, which is nice. But he's over here. Notably, we can, we can get some points, right? by doing this battle. So, exploring this area is generally something... Where is he? He's got to be pretty close to me. Oh, yeah, he was pretty close. Actually, I don't think he was all that close, given how low the score of that Shutter Chance was. But that's alright. What I can do is try to get towards the open area over here, and that should make my life a little bit easier. Where are you at, bud? We'll get a little bit closer. Get us some more damage and some higher points. Let's see where you're gonna go from there. I see a spirit fragment. We'll get that in there. And get a little bit 
more damage there. And now we can get a stutter chance. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Why do we keep saying stutter chance? That's so funny. Um, shutter chance. You'll notice that sometimes I'll try to get a little bit closer as well when I do my attacks. Just because, well, they do more damage. Alright, so we can get a shutter chance here. Perfect. It was pretty close, too. Although I would like to get some fatal frames. Are you dead? Huh. That wasn't a very convincing death. That sounded like a, I'll see you later, not a... <laughs> Not a... Ah, you got me. Ooh, Type 61 film. That's that's some good stuff there. So yeah, we'll take a minute to explore this little area over here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Because again, we have explored it for the most part. But hopefully again, we're also rewarded with some unique cutscenes or battles or the like. Because really, that's what I find most valuable in this game so far is little insights into the story, the characters, the mishaps of Mount Hikami. Some more purifying embers. Which way was I going? Okay, yeah, this way still. Either way, it also seems like the, the combat is getting quite a bit more difficult. So getting all these items will set us up for success later on when it inevitably ramps up yet again. Any items over this way? Yes. Oh, what? They're on the other side. Alright. I'll remember that. Because it looks like that's some herbal medicine too. Which is really nice because it just heals you in a small increment, so you don't have to, you know, like, utilize something that's going to totally max out your HP, right? But at the same time, it's also not a very costly item to use in terms of the points that you're missing out on on the end screen. So I like having quite a few of these. And, well, I would say we have quite a few of them at this point. <laughs> I think we've got, what, like, close to 30 now? Alright, so we'll keep walking around here for a moment, and then we'll loop back to get this marsh over here. Which I think is where we fought that maiden, right? After fighting Fuyuhi, slash watching her cutscene, where she ended up killing herself. Or rather, I mean, arguably getting killed by the maiden, right? There's an item over here. We can go ahead and pick this up. Looks like another purifying ember. Okay. And... Oh, do I just want to take a look at this now? No, I'll turn around and go to that marsh. For the time being. I think we gotta go up this way. Yep, perfect. Again, utilizing the map a little bit more. It's very useful. Look at how beautiful the water looks. It really does look great. They did a good job remastering the game. For the PS4, at least. Are there any items up here, though? Nothing, really? I find that surprising. But it seems to be the case. Can I check this? You can see a lit lantern across the water. The road of the shrine must be in that direction. Okay. I guess there's nothing over here. I'm surprised there's not even, like, a ghost, right? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check the map again. This is the pathway over there. I don't think we'll find anything this way. Yeah, probably not. So we'll head back. I know there's a timer component to these chapters as well, which we're obviously leaning into quite a bit. But at the same time, from my experience with replaying some of the chapters, it doesn't seem like it's all that important, right? The number of points I got for completing a chapter, you know, 10, 15 minutes faster than I did the first time around, didn't outweigh just using some of the film that I collected. So I don't think it's actually the biggest factor. And you probably remember, we got an S rank on 
I think the second chapter and it took like an hour or so to actually get through the chapter and it's just because we explored everything and picked up a whole bunch of items and I think we did a decent job with combat too and again didn't use any of our special films have I already been by this area over here I think so Or do I have to walk through here again to get this item over here? Because I think there was one. Or at the very least, there was one. Ah, here we go. This is the one we saw. Oh! What? That was a... Uh, dang, that was a late grab. I was not ready for that one. Okay. And with that, I think we are good to continue going about the actual story of this chapter. I'm sure those of you that are mostly interested in that are skipping ahead as much as you'd like, which is fine by me. Everybody plays games differently and is looking for different experiences from them, and I hope I can facilitate whatever experience you're looking for, and if fast-forwarding a little bit here and there is what you need to do that, hey, that, that works with me. I would not be surprised, yep, if there was a photo we were going to take here. Haruka Momose heading to the grounds. Haruka's very pretty, <laughs> just in general. Any items over this way? No. Alright, we'll walk over this way too. Dolls of various sizes have been placed around the shrine. White faces with faint smiles gaze out from the dirty kimonos and black hair. Okay. Hello. Ah, that was not a very good one, but... Eh, it's alright. I was afraid of just not getting it. Haruka is somewhere in the shrine. You know what would be kind of nice? If it was possible to default to a vertical orientation of the camera as opposed to horizontal. The countless dolls smile vacantly. How lovely. Can we open this? Oh, it's open. Who are you? Excuse me? <laughs> you are an awfully creepy doll. Oh, uh, one of... At least one of these is going to come to life. At least one of these dolls is going to come to life. Can I interact with any of these dolls? And also, look at how much darker it is. It's so dark in here, guys. I'm ready. <laughs> I am ready. Which room to go in? Is this a closet or a room? Potentially both? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Downstairs plus water? That's not a good sign. Do I want to go that way? Ah, uh, I don't know. So, what I was trying to do before... Oh, I don't even have a tracing? No, I, I do. It looks like it goes around that way, maybe. It won't open. It is being held by or being held shut by a powerful force. Uh, okay, I'll open this. Let's see what I can find down here. But we all know, basements are never... Well, they're never good for at least the protagonists in horror games. There's a doll on the stairs. Oh, we don't even have to go down the stairs. Yet. Oh my. So this is quite the room. Something tells me that's a very important room. So what we're gonna do, like the completionists and, you know, adventurers we are, is explore the non-story progressing pathway. And what do we find here? Some herbal medicine. So naturally... Oh, what was... That was a yellow hand. Dang, that was... Uh, I don't know if that would have done more damage or, or what, but... It's kind of scary. 
So anyways, you always know that when the game gives you a bunch of health, right? Some sort of HP restoring item before you enter an area that's story driven, that you're coming up on a boss, right? So naturally, we are, I, I think I'm actually gonna use, nah, I should wait to use herbal medicine. We have 35, which is obviously nice, but what's kind of cool is you can interrupt attacks. You can hit pause while you're getting attacked and heal yourself before you actually take damage. But let's see what we find in here. Surely nothing good. Okay, there are two items. I wonder if whichever we choose is going to play a big role. Oh! Huh. Haruka Momose looking at the dolls. Is she hiding something under that area and we need to utilize that? Was that Haruka? Is there something under the doll display? Okay, if there is, that's certainly the thing to be important story-wise. So let's pick up this note first. Haruka's note 4. There's a note here written in small writing. It looks like Haruka must have come here. Ever since we survived, I felt like every day could be my last. I feel closer to Fuyuhi than ever. It's nice sharing secrets with her, sharing my guilt. We often talk about the past. I remember a lot of things from back then. Like how her face was the first picture I drew in kindergarten. We split the sheet of paper and drew each other. I remember growing taller than her, and how she stayed at my house while hers was being renovated. We often talk about that kind of stuff. Huh. Most of all, I remember singing the song of memories at kindergarten graduation. I looked over at Fuyuhi and she was already looking at me, waving. Whenever I hear that song, it makes me want to go back there, to that time. My whole life has been flashing before my eyes. I can definitely resonate with that sort of sensation. Thinking back to some time, five, ten years ago, how happy you were in a particular moment, especially when you're maybe down in the present and really feeling like a, a sense of longing for that past bliss that you were in. Granted, of course, you know, the, the, retros, the retroscope <laughs> um, makes things look a lot rosier than they potentially were, but still, it, it's definitely a very real human phenomenon. Of all the moments, that's the one I want to keep on living over and over forever. Wow, how sad. If I pick this up, you got the Crush Lens, a lens that deals more damage to targets based on its level. To use it, equip it to your camera obscura and press square when you have enough spirit power. Interesting. So we're definitely about to get into a big battle, obviously. But let's take a look at our camera. So in terms of lenses, the Crush, okay, so this will do double damage, and this is what we use the spirit power for. And normally, when we play then we get to do the multi-shot, right? But it seems like with Yuri, we have the ability to do this crush shot, which is good to know. And so that's what we build up spirit power for. Now we know. All right, let's take a look. What are we going to find? Oh, shoot. There are stairs below the doll display. Haruka might have gone down there. Guys. Uh-oh. The wooden gate won't budge. There must be a way to open it. Who are you? あなたも Are we playing hide and seek? The camera is reacting to something. Search inside the front shrine. 
interesting. So that's actually what's happening. I think we're we're gonna look around to try to find these various children. What is that? That's the hanging lady in the woods, right? There's something in the photo. It looks like a person hanging from a tree. This photo might be showing you where to find the hidden effigy. Got it. Interesting. Okay, so that's why we have to go back out towards the... <laughs> that's why we have to go back out towards the forest. The game actually does make us utilize that. Alright. We'll play the game. Hide and seek it is. The fleeing child. Oh no. You know what I just realized? That doll isn't on the ground anymore. How lovely. Can I open this now? I can! Uh... Hmm... Well... I'll take a look. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Can we even go in here? I wouldn't think so, but what is this book? There's an old notebook left in the hallway, the Doll Memorial. I decided to conduct a memorial ritual of sending a doll down river, as is described in Mount Hikami folk folklore. Here on the mountain, the flowing waters have long been deified. Life springs from the water, then returns to it. All of the bones in the cave beneath the shrine had been laid into the waters. This was probably considered to be a way of returning life to the water. The shrine was built upon the Pure Water River, with a walkway crossing it. I have found numerous dolls at the bottom of the river and downstream. These dolls were likely placed on the water as a form of memorial for those they depicted. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Can we go in here? We can. What in the world are we going to find in here? I have no idea. Oh! Okay, I hear you. What is... Who are you? Masked man? What the heck? That is creepy. You're probably gonna be one of our next enemies, I guess? Dang, this is a, probably a good place for photo mode. I'll have to take some photos here in my off time. <laughs> Interesting. The door is being held by, held shut by a powerful force. Can I actually run through the water here? Probably don't want to, but I can. Then we can go on over this way. Surprisingly, it didn't increase our our wet meter. Okay, some dolls. Oh, hello there. Oh, one to nothing. What was, wait, what was the deal with that? Also, what is that item? There's a room behind the shelves with the dolls. Maybe there's a way inside. Yeah, we'll look for one. Got some medicine. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and look for a way into that room. I'm sure we'll have to make our way here eventually, <laughs> but for the time being, this is okay. I'll run across here. This is where we probably would have entered from had we gone to the left instead of the right. Oh man, when we open the doors, it's so dark. I can see a large doll through a crack in the door. I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the, like, photos we have to take at some point. Oh, we're getting attacked. Okay. And now we're kind of progressing beyond that room, I believe. Or no, we're, we're still within reason, but... If we go this way, we're actually going to leave that little area. So, I'm going to go back over here. Yeah, we're going to go back into that room so we can try and figure out what's going on behind that stage, I believe. 
but we may not get an answer because I don't think this area specifically was connected to it. Yeah, I don't think we can get over there from here. We will have to go out and around through that door. But I want to see what happens if we were to have run left from this area. It likely leads to a dead end, but there might be an item there that we want to procure. Oh. A little shrine here, I guess. Some purifying embers. Oh, come on. You had to have the doll move, didn't you? Okay, we'll head out. Well, I'm glad we picked that up. Now we can continue to move on. Although I get the feeling that we're progressing, I guess... A little bit too far ahead, maybe, by going this way. I hope not. Like, hopefully we emerge somewhere in the forest and we're able to get back to where we were with relative ease, rather than have to run through all this again. Not that it would be the end of the world, but... Man, exploring this area is, is fairly creepy. And the... Oops. Who is this? Who are you? I don't know who you are, or where you are. You said you're here, obviously. But I must have missed whatever ghost it was, because you were in here. When I ended up backing out of the hallway. Because again, I was misled by the icons, but... There are many dolls lined up on the shelves. This room must be where dolls being offered up were kept. Okay, we found our way into this room. What's this here? Needs outdoors. Do we want to go out there yet, though? I don't think so. I think I want to continue exploring this little alcove. Oh, there's... Wanted to see if I could get a good picture there, but it didn't seem to actually make much of a difference. So there's an item over there, as well as a doll. Rather creepy looking doll. We can at least open this drawer in the meantime, see if we find anything interesting. And... Oh! Some film! Some good stuff, too. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Really? Just some film? Type 90 film. Film with a symbol of purification. It is very effective at exercising ghosts and loads quickly. And of course the doll's a little bit closer. <laughs> because of course, right? Okay. I guess we're being rewarded for our exploration. So now we can head on out. I saw a little icon. It's probably on the outside of the building, though. For something we can pick up. Having a hard time judging where whatever item it is actually is. Dang, look at all these hanging dolls. That's pretty creepy. But a pretty interesting picture. Where is this item? And then going back in this way is probably how we can access that area that we couldn't from that watery room. So let's go ahead and do that. See what we find in there. Interesting here. It won't open, it's being held shut. Okay. What about down this hallway? We can go here, and that probably leads out into the forest. We've got a doll that's probably going to attack us. It's a doll about the size of a child. Lovely. Is this going to lead to behind that stage? Nope, just a creepy closet with a whole bunch of mannequin arms? Did I get that right? Or doll arms, I guess. There's an old document lying in the dresser. It seems to be a record of something. Shrine of Dolls 1. Having sat abandoned for many years, the Shrine of Dolls has now undergone significant reconstruction. In the past, local legends tell that the shrine used so-called effigies as offerings. 
these effigies are likely the old dolls that were found inside. The road to the shrine was improved, and so the number of visitors gradually increased. There was no end to the visitors bringing their own dolls to add to those left outside. Assuming this practice to be harmless, no effort has been made to prevent it. As we were repairing the old dolls, we learned that each of them is engraved with a name. We also found tiny teeth, bones, and small bundles of hair tucked away inside. Were these mere keepsakes, or perhaps something more? The purpose of the shrine has since become clear. It appears these dolls were believed to contain the souls of deceased children and were likely offered to the shrine as some kind of ritual. And that explains why we're seeing a whole bunch of children, right? We also learned of a cave below the shrine, known as the Womb Cavern. It housed several human remains. Perhaps initially it was not dolls offered up at the shrine, but people. It seems the cavern may be where the bodies were disposed. Yikes. We are considering renovating the cavern into storage space, placing the bones into dolls of their own and holding a joint memorial service for them all. So that's what's waiting us down below that doll shrine. How lovely. Are those, oh man, those eyes are so unsettling. Shrine of Dolls 3? We just jump from 1 to 3. There's an old document inside the drawer covered in a bunch of doll parts. I've been having those dreams again, where I'm playing with the kids. I've started looking forward to playing with them. Sometimes I don't even want to wake up. I looked into it, and the games we've been playing actually used to exist. One is called Spirited Away. Ooh, the episode namesake. Everyone hides each other's dolls, and whoever finds theirs last is spirited away. That is, they go out of the game. Wooden dolls were usually used, made from the sticks of trees on the mountain. The next game was called Ghost Marriage. Everyone hides their dolls, except one person, called the Outsider. That person then chooses a partner of the opposite sex and searches for their doll. It's a bit like hide and seek, only the owner of a doll that's found is said to be bound, that is, married to the outsider. However, if the outsider finds the wrong doll, then the owner of that doll becomes the outsider instead. My theory is that these games are based on actual rituals that took place on the mountain. In my dreams, the games go on until the children disappear into the mist. I wonder what would happen if they took me with them. Ooh. Not good thoughts to have, my friend. <laughs> Doll parts are scattered atop the shelf. Let's see, the door's being shut by a powerful force. Okay. Can we go through here? Yes. Whenever you open a door, it always just like zooms in so heavily. There's an old Japanese style dresser in the closet. Can we open it? Why does this closet exist? Hmm. Have we already looked in it, or what? Huh. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we'll leave. A little bit afraid we missed the Shrine Journal 2 or whatever. But, I guess we'll find out. We did not try going out this door, so let's try doing that. Looks like some herbal medicine. Guess we'll take that. Can we look inside the drawers or anything? No? Okay. It's funny how, in any sort of horror context, children can be made to be so creepy, despite being so, like, theoretically innocent, right? <laughs> such playful, such hopeful things in everyday life that become so creepy as soon as they are given the right context. So there's clearly an item up here, right? Like, something is going on. I just don't know what it is. It's gotta be insight now. Is this maybe the image? For the thing? I guess not. Alright, I would at least expect the game to lead me on a little bit if it were. I feel like it is. The old lady hanging? Right? Like something like this? Is it possible for me to check? Photographs. Hmm, match the photo, look, ghost list, camera, 
items, records. Hmm. Can I R2? No, I don't think so. I mean, this is definitely it, I feel. Well, the way the game is pushing me to take a picture of this, or at least interact with it, right? Makes me think that it's it. I just don't, oh, there we go. So I didn't need to go back into the forest. I'm glad I didn't. Yikes. Sounded like something fell into the bushes. Well then, don't mind if I do. There's our effigy. A so-called effigy. I think it was made to look like me. Ah, oh, we totally missed the second doll or er, uh, shrine of dolls thing, but that's okay. Oh, we've uh, we've got customers. Oh, and we've got a lot of them. Okay, so we can get a nice shutter chance there, which is good. I'm actually going to run this way for now, and then turn around to try to centralize all of these ghosts so they can't flank me. Alright, we got a couple friends here, and on the left, and on the right, aw oh, man, it's not uh, turning out very well, because they keep appearing in a whole bunch of different places. They're not actually attacking me very frequently, are they? They just keep running in circles around me. Oh, now I think they're going to try to attack me. Oh, that was my chance. All right, so what I can do is try to get some spirit remnants going. Ah, oh, that didn't seem to work. Oh, no, there is one. Okay, good. Oh, I'm getting attacked. I can dodge. I tried to dodge. Do I have to hold down X or what? I don't know. It's kind of odd, but... So I got a fatal frame. A little bit weird, but... Sorry. Either way, wow. When you're low HP, the screen definitely gets pretty intense. So I'll do a couple herbal medicines there, just to make things a little bit safer. Oh, we've got our friend over there. We've got a couple friends here. Can I get a shutter chance? Almost. Fatal frame, lovely. Got a good amount of damage there. Now we should be able to get a shutter chance. Pretty soon, right? Oh, dang, look at that. We got so much going on there. Okay, where are you guys at? Still running around. You're continuing to run around as well. Take a picture of you just to be safe, get a little bit of spirit remnant stuff going on. Got attacked. Not ideal, but not the end of the world, I guess. Okay, you are attacking me. Oh, and I was a little bit early. Darn it. Okay, we're a little bit close for comfort. Did we get the shutter? Oh, we didn't get the shutter chance, did we? Now we will, though. Dang, and that was a strong one, I think. Are you dead? You are. Let's try and get that fatal glance. Oh, can I not? Oh no, okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't get attacked during the fatal glance. person that initially talked to us. Wait, what? Why are they laughing now?
What a strange sense of humor. Alright, so there are only two left now. This person's gonna attack me any second. Fatal frame time, nice. Not a very long fatal frame though, honestly. Are you dead? Yes, no, maybe? You are. Let's get that fatal glance, get those points. We've only got one friend left. Perfect. Wanted to wait for him to get pretty close before we uh, got the fatal frame going. Get some spirit remnants. What is that? Did we get him? I think we did. Can I get over there for the fatal glance? I can't! He's too far. Dang. Well, that's pretty sad. Alright, so anyways, we gotta get back to the front shrine. That's our new goal. So I don't know how it happened, but we're wet. <laughs> so I know this is obviously the opposite direction. We probably won't be allowed to proceed this way. Yeah. So naturally, now that we're wet, we are susceptible to a lot more damage. I believe this is the way we initially came out. It won't open, it's being held shut by a powerful force. Okay. Whoa. That was pretty intense. this way. We have, at the very least, explored the map already to an extent, right? So, this will be a quicker way of getting back, I believe. We can go through here? No, not here. Over this way. I thought this was the doll shrine, though. Or where we found those various notebooks. And there's really nothing else in here? Okay, I guess. Maybe now we can go through here. Or, can I open up these drawers? I think I already did. The door's being held shut by a powerful force. Okay. So then what? Do I have to go in the closet now? Is this the purpose of the closet finally getting revealed? sure where to go at the moment. We tried going through this door with no success. Oh, uh, we came down this hallway, but we can go over here, I believe. Yeah, and that'll lead us into this courtyard area. But that looks like it's a dead end. So I don't know how that's going to be helpful, but I'm sure we'll find out, right? <laughs> interest for us in here. I know we've already explored this area once, but we're trying to go this way. Yep. And it opens. Let's see what we find. first question I have is, are we expected to go down here? Slash, can we go down here? Oh, we totally can go down here. We need to go down here. Oh, you're a ghost that's damaging me. You're an enemy. Like, big time. Alright, we should be able to get a shutter chance now. Should be a 
good amount of damage. Building up those spear remnants. He seems like a fairly standard enemy, honestly. Ah, oh, shoot. Did I get the fatal frame? I did. Dang, that was clutch. Backed up just enough. He's still alive? Nope. Fatal glance time. Will we make it in time? It appears so. Through the dolls, into the minds of ghosts. <laughs> Dang. Are we under the doll shrine right now? I feel like we are. Countless dolls are lined up on the shelves. There are also many that have fallen into the water. Honestly, I think, I mean, unsurprisingly to an extent, right? Water is one of the things this game has done best in interacting with environments that are very wet, whether it's rain, underwater, etc. They've been some of the most memorable, easily. There's an item over there. Looks like we progressed by going to the right. Is there anything in this little corner here? Countless dolls have been placed on the shelves that have sunk into the water. This must have been a storeroom that got flooded. Okay. We can try to trudge a little bit more quickly over this way. Got some film. Oh. We successfully avoided that, though. Lovely. Type zero, type zero film! That's the best stuff, special film. It is the most effective film at exercising ghosts, but it takes time to load. Oh man. You guys, you know what that means. We're coming up on something really difficult. We're coming up on a really tough enemy, without a doubt. I hope you guys are ready. I don't know if I am. Hope I am, but I don't know. Oh, what's attacking me? From behind? Oh, hello there. Okay, you're gonna attack soon. So we'll get a nice fatal frame. And then we can go back to our strategy of trying to... Oh, hey, we got a lot in there. Now we can go back to the strategy of trying to get spirit remnants to appear. What is that sound? I wanna get really close. Oh, what? Part of it, like, disappeared, ruining my, my shutter chance. Where are you? All right, let's get the shutter chance. Come on. That works. Not ideal, but... Where are you at? Oh, you are very close. Hello there. <laughs> You're a little bit higher up than I expected you'd be. <laughs> okay. And we'll wait for the fatal frame, because you look like you are going to attack soon. And awfully close. Where are you at? Huh. That was an interesting attack choice. It didn't look particularly menacing, because menacing, I mean, the camera was telling me it was a fatal frame shot, so... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh, that was a pretty strong shutter chance, I think. Is it dead? I'm not entirely convinced. Oh, hello there. Are you another one? Or are you the same one? I don't know. The world may never know. Probably the same one. Kind of doing the usual routine of disappearing and reappearing. Where are you? There you are. Got you just in time. Dang, we've got a lot of attacks off in that field. That's good stuff. Okay, now you're probably going to pop up out of nowhere again. So I don't think we uh, are seeing the last of you. Where are you? There you are. Alright, you're about to attack. Oh! Looks like I was a little bit late on that one. We're still not very good at the whole dodge thing. I think I need to look into that a little bit more. Oh, we could get a stutter ch or a shutter chance here. Perfect. Are you dead? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, no you are? Can we run over in time to make it for the fatal glance? Certainly not. <laughs> There's zero hope. Alright, what I'm gonna do is actually use one of the herbal medicines. Just because I know that in some of the previous battles we've taken tons of damage. What seems like half of our health bar from one hit before. So I want to make sure we'll at least live one hit. 
you know, maybe at the beginning of the next fight I'll use a Purifying Ember or something so we don't take as much damage. What is this? Another Mirror Stone. Dang, the game is really setting us up for this battle, aren't they? Okay. Wait, what's up with this one, like, blue doll? It's kind of odd. Maybe I just haven't noticed the other ones. Oh yeah, I see a couple others. Just stood out to me because I was used to seeing all the red. Alright, we're making progress. Anything on my left? Thought I was going to get, you know, baited by the present and then not notice the ghost on my left or something. You got the Restore Lens. A lens that restores your health based on how much damage is dealt to the target. I love this type of ability in games, where you can heal passively by doing damage. That's one of my favorite abilities. I loved it in Nier Automata. I love it in the <laughs> yeah, Divinity Originals in 2. I'm playing with a friend right now. It's one of my favorite capabilities. To use it, equip it to your camera obscura and press square when you have enough spirit power. So I think what I'm actually going to do then is do that. Oh, I have to... Huh. So how do I do that? Camera, lenses, upgrades the restore lens. How do I actually equip it though? Lenses, okay, there we go. Now I can add them to the rotation, I guess. Crush, for the time being, let's see now. So now I can switch it to restore, which I think is what I'm gonna wanna stick with for now. And just because I'm getting nervous, <laughs> I kind of want to upgrade my camera one more time. Do I want to do loader, though, or absorption? Hmm. I think I want to do loader, honestly. Because being able to get fatal frames is my biggest defense at the moment. Is My offense is essentially my defense, right? And so being able to load film fairly quickly is going to go a long way in terms of giving me the ability to counterattack enemies with fatal frames. Wow, so now we're walking up that area, I think, that we entered at the beginning of the, the chapter. So we should be right by the shrine. Yep, it's going to be on our left. All right, let's take a look and see. We are completely wet, <laughs> so we will probably take plenty of damage. The game is auto-saving. So it looks like, looks like it's time. The girl was sitting in the middle of the doll display. I should try placing the doll here. Here we can play together. Stay until you feel like dying. Oh, we're fighting all right. So off you go. Where are you? Am I supposed to try to find you and... Oh, hello there. Oh, these dolls, the, the sort of one-hit dolls are all over the place. Where are you going? Oh, what was that? Hello there. You're awfully close. A little too close for comfort in my opinion. So we'll get a nice picture up close. Maybe load up some spirit fragments or whatever they're called. Get another one like that. I think we're making some good progress. Any dolls? No, doesn't look like it yet. And I'd say we're actually fairly close. Oh, Fatal Frame. We'll go with it. This is a long Fatal Frame. Dang. Really got a lot in there. Get up close for some good damage. We got two Spirit Remnants out of it, too. Nice, I like that. And you're about to attack? Nope, you just ran at me. Okay. Interesting, the spirit remnants are what go into the dolls, I think. That's it. Oh, wait, what? Huh. It's related to the effigy that she was holding, I guess? That's odd. By the way, you're gonna run off now. Probably, yep, bring one of these dolls to life. Just lovely. Oh, there's another one. So we'll take you out. And then where did the actual... <laughs> where did the actual child go that were, you know, the big deal? Oh, that was a pretty bad picture, but that's okay. Okay. Now our friend is going to attack us. 
Nice, we got the fatal frame. Can we get another one? No, we can't. That's okay. Alright, before you disappear. Nope, wasn't able to get one more shot in, but that's okay. Where'd you show up? Where'd you run off to? I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Wait, what? That's not what I expected to happen. Alright, we got Fatal Frame hopefully on all three of them, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Dang, that was pretty intense. You gonna attack me now, or what? I guess not. So we can get some Spirit Remnants going. That whole ordeal. Get them nice and close for some big damage. Oh, we got a doll on our left. Okay. And then, oh shoot. Alright, so we're going to use an item. So I definitely don't want to get taken out here. Oh, what? What am I getting attacked by? There's probably something on my left. That's what it seems like. Okay, so we are just going to run away for the moment. There's a doll over there, so we will turn around and we'll attack this doll. That should take it out. And we've got our friend just chilling over here. He's going to attack us. Nope. Faked us out there. Okay. It seemed like we were trying to take a picture of it when the effigy was up. That seemed to be something that... We got a special sort of attack for. Plenty of dolls are Jeez. We got a few things in that frame, so that's pretty good. And yeah, I'm not only trying to... What's it called? Oh, I was too soon. Oh, I successfully dodged, though. That's a surprise. Ah, oh, darn it. I dodged one. <laughs> fell into the hands of the other. <laughs> Gotta love that. What's going on over here? I don't know. However, I think there's a doll coming after me. But yeah, when I get really close, I also not I not only do more damage, but I also get a lot more points. Which is part of what I'm aiming for. Oh, we're getting the triple attack. We get the triple fatal frame. They should converge in front of me, and that should allow us to get the fatal frame more easily. Nice. I think we... We did! Nice! That was a pretty neat battle. I found this effigy on the floor. I should put it back on the doll display. Well, don't mind if I do. You place the effigy on the doll display. This would be a good place for photo mode. It sounded as if something moved beneath the doll display. The wooden lattice blocking the hidden staircase is opened. Oh boy. Head underground in search of Haruka. What could possibly go wrong? To Womb Cavern. Here we go. Only one place to go. What? Well, this is quite the location. You must not allow yourself to be taken by the black water. A man carrying a reliquary. What's a reliquary? That box, I guess. You must not allow yourself to be taken by the black water. Huh. I can see another cave through a hole in the wall. Oh, is there a ghost? It springs from the netherworld. It is the netherworld itself. Okay. What? Okay, there's Haruka. Everyone's hearts, they were so full of emotion. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? No, are you kidding me? I wasn't able to take the picture? That didn't count? Okay, water is pouring out from within the cave. There appears to be a big open area inside. Okay, there's... I'm... <laughs> That's where we came from. Let's start by exploring to the left. A lot of icons on screen. Oh my. Black box sits in a hollow 
along the passageway. Okay, some purifying embers. Something else. Some sacred water. Okay. Which way do I want to go? That's where I just came from, right? Oh, I'm totally lost. Lovely, 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 lovely. Anything to see over here? It's a dead end. There's a drop off and water is flowing down. It looks like something is floating down there. Yep, pretty creepy doll. I'll pass on that one. What about this door here? The door is locked. The lock is broken. I won't be able to open it. So it's not even something I can take like a psychic photo of? No? Okay. It's probably something we'll have to explore later on. I guess we can explore, keep exploring this way for now. We've made it out of some of the water, I guess. There's a lantern among the stalactites. Some film? What the heck was that? Type 90 film, lovely. Is there something behind me? Maybe it was just obscured by the uh, surroundings. Like they attempted to do this sort of over the shoulder ghost watching you thing, but. Oh boy. I need to take my heart into the water, to the depths, deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh, and then there's one with the arms sticking out. Great. Richly decorated black box. The lid is shut. Okay, that's where we came from, I think. Yeah. So this one is also probably going to be shut. This one is also probably going to be shut. Find the box, the ground drops off, and the water is flowing down. The box is sealed shut, and I can't open this is probably the one with Haruka, which does not spell well for us. I don't know if we can go through there. For the sake of completeness, I want to take a look at all these other ones, but beyond the box, the ground drops off, and the water is flowing down. There's a winch. Maybe it was used to pull something up. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Let's ins uh, do I want to check out that other side, though, first? Because we didn't explore to the right, I don't think. Or did we even have much of a choice? I actually don't think we did. Shrine of Doll's entrance. I think we're okay. Let's take a look at this one that has the arm sticking out. Oh, it's totally going to be Haruka. That's going to be sad.
scary. Oh, I never want to experience that. Wait, what? She's alive? What? How? Oh my goodness. You certainly don't seem friendly. Boss time? Yep. So, start by taking some photos to get some spirit remnants going on. I may be able to... Oh, shoot. Dang. So, I'm gonna give myself another herbal medicine just to be safe. But she came flying in there fast. I also need to remember... Wait, what? Okay, successful dodge. I think I'm starting to get the hang of that a little bit more. But I need to remember to use my spirit power shots and all that to recover a little bit as well. We got some spirit remnants. Where are you? Oh my god. That's so fast. I feel like I can't even, you know, get to see the ghost in time. Nice. The uh, the NPC strats. Oh, I could get a shutter chance with um Haruka, right? She's gonna swing at me. Here she comes. Okay. Or what? Interesting. Very interesting. I thought there would be like a, a fatal frame icon, at least, that I was getting attacked. Aw oh, man, I gotta wait. There we go. Okay, where did you go? You're up there, now you're over where? I don't know where you are, but I'm about to get attacked. Where are you at? I have no idea. I think you're within my sight, yeah. Do a little bit of damage, hopefully stun a little bit, run away. Unsuccessful. Gosh. For what it's worth, you at least get those confirmed fatal frames that way. A little bit of damage. We're about to get attacked, I think. We'll use a little bit more herbal medicine. <laughs> I have to remember. Darn it. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. <laughs> Pun intended. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run over to Haruka. Let's see. Okay. Where'd you go? Shutter chance. I should have used my restorative power there. My restore lens. I gotta get in that habit because that'll be so helpful. Lip syncs a little off. <laughs> Escape from the mountain? Okay. Can we go through here? The door is locked and iris flowers engraved on the lock. It seems I can't get out this way. Alright, then we'll head out the way we came in. I'm surprised they didn't just end the, the level there. I think it actually kind of would have been nice if that was the case. Although having to escape is... Um, it's interesting in its own right. I will say this episode has been fairly long, right? I think I've been recording for almost two hours now. Obviously, even sadder 
knowing the events of that second episode, right? And Fuyuhi's rather unfortunate fate. To the Shrine of Dolls. Let's get going. So, I mean, that was definitely the boss. Hmm, poor Haruka. It's gonna be really poor Haruka once she realizes what happened to Fuyuhi as well. Exit of the shrine, right? Oh, poor Haruka. What if we can interact with this? No. Oh, there's an item here. Oh no, I don't like where this is going. Of course she runs off. I have to follow Haruka's trace. What is this? Is it the song? There's an old handwritten note here. It's covered in black smears. Bloodstained note one. I must kill them all. Every shrine maiden. I can't stand their eyes. I must gouge them out. They have seen too much. So we know where that's... Where that's coming from. Which way are we supposed to go? This way. So we'll head in this direction. Where are you, Haruka? Uh-oh. I don't think this is gonna end well. I don't think so. She's gonna end up seeing Fuyuhi in the same way that Fuyuhi saw Haruka. She's gonna be led to her death. In the same spot. Oh my goodness, it's actually Fuyuhi. So we got a spirit remnant out. Okay, fatal frame. We're actually fighting Fuyuhi. Get a shutter chance, nice. Perfect. That was like a shutter chance fatal frame combo there. Where are you? Over here. Lovely. Get nice and close for the next shutter chance. Where are you? Nice and close for plenty of damage. I missed out on a shutter chance, but what the heck is going on here? Is this like slow mo or what? We should be getting pretty close to getting a shutter chance from building up spirit remnants. There we go. There's a Fatal Frame mixed with a Shutter Chance. Okay. So I think we actually just beat Fuyuhi. We can't quite get a Fatal Glance, but that's okay. There's an interesting battle. You know, the poses Fuyuhi actually used to attack us. どうしてあそこに夕日が見えたから夕日が近づいてきてだんだん慣れてきて時計
けるみたいで溶けるとにかく君は帰ってきたんだ無事でよかったな Agreed But sadly we didn't find Hisoka Actually, stay here. Haruka, I'd better give her some time to recover. I have to tell Nen and Dui about this. Oh, and she's singing that song. The one they sang together. He must be having a terrible nightmare. Are we about to shadow read whatever his nightmare is? What a nightmare. <laughs> that dream, it was just like the memory I saw when I touched Haruka in that cave. I need to know more. Maybe if I ask her. Talk to Haruka, okay? I hope she's still there. The games can be like, talk to Haruka, just to get us to go down and find she's like dead, or she either ran away, or you know, 500 million other things that could have gone wrong. Knew it.
like the, his ghost is pushing her to leave. Yikes. That doesn't seem like it's going to turn out very well for Haruka. Yuri finds the missing Haruka Momose in a reliquary in a cave beneath the Shrine of Dolls. She takes the girl back to the shop. Haruka is in no state to talk and can't explain what happened to her. That night, Haruka is visited by Fuyuhi's ghost, which takes her back to the mountain. Dang. What a sad ending. <laughs> but also, a hey, look at that S rank. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Now, this was a long episode. This fourth drop, though, was easily my favorite. I loved how many cutscenes we got that showed all of like the horrific events that have occurred on Mount Hikami that we've been reading about up until this point, really bringing to life the, the lore of this mountain. And Yuri's exploring and experiencing it firsthand to an extent herself, right? I love the imagery ranging from within the shrine to in the forest to the underwater environment, which was beautiful. The boss battles were very exciting as well, and the combat overall has been pretty fun. I think the episode itself was a little bit on the log end, and it had a little bit of never-ending ending syndrome to an extent, but it was certainly filled with quality content, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. I am going to have to find out for the future about how to cut these episodes, in terms of YouTube episodes, into reasonably sized videos, because an almost two hour video is not sustainable for me in terms of my recording schedule, how much time I have to record, and I'm lucky enough that I could fit in two hours. But I just want to make sure that auto-saving is something that I can fairly easily pick up, and I'm not going to you know, lose 45 minutes to an hour of progress in an episode. So, if this is going to be the pretty standard length of episodes, these drops going forward, I'd appreciate it if you were if you would let me know, um, so that I can plan on counting or cutting these up into a couple episodes each drop. That would be much appreciated. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one too. Of course, in the next episode, we're going to hit that fifth drop, which in which we're going to play as an end and find the veiled house, which I don't actually recall much about so i'm definitely looking forward to it. it seems like a totally new thing and of course getting into more creepy stuff as you know from a different perspective with ren and, and his unique camera obscura so hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as i am hope you guys are enjoying this game just as much as i am because it's really been a blast but until the next episode this is movement 90 and this mission is complete <laughs>